begin. Okay, so to begin with, you're going to need two t-shirts. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut the top part off of the t-shirts so that you're left with this ring. So if I were using this shirt, I would start cutting right below the level of the sleeves across. You're looking for a t-shirt that doesn't have a seam. So you're looking for one where you can kind of make a ring out of it all the way around and you're not going to see a seam anywhere. So those cotton t-shirts that you get at summer camp. And you're going to need two of these. I actually have two of different sizes. Um, the size doesn't matter so much. You're going to have to look at it. Um, it depends on the size of both you and of your baby. So we have uh, a men's extra large and a men's medium right here. Now, the additional thing you're going to need to add extra stability is a scarf that's long enough for you to tie once around your waist. And it's good for the scarf to be a little bit thick. I have a pashmina here. I think the pashminas are the best. Um, they're also a bit sturdy, so there's a little bit of stretch to them, but they're overall rather stiff fabric. So especially if you have an elastic t-shirt, that's going to help stabilize things. Now, I'm going to go get the baby. And by baby, I mean cat. Now, everyone holds their baby a different way. In the case of this baby, or cat, he prefers to be held on his back, usually with his paws in the air. Now, while you're first putting on your baby wrap, you're going to want to find somewhere to rest your cat. So I'm going to put him on his favorite blanket and just pet him so he feels comfortable. See, so he's going to be sitting there and with your baby, you could lie them down on a blanket on the floor. Now we're going to take our first t-shirt and we're going to put it across our chest, like so. Make sure that you unroll it. I like to put the larger t-shirt on the inside and the smaller t-shirt on the outside, but I've done it both ways and it doesn't really matter that much. So this is going to be going on this shoulder. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to be forming an X across your chest. So I need it to be going like that, which means, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right, okay, um, it's easy to get confused. And make sure again to roll it out. All right. So here you have it. As you can see, I put the t-shirts on over myself in an X pattern. That's going to create a receptacle for the cat or the baby right on your front. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lift your cat or baby up from his resting spot on the floor. Okay, make sure he feels very comfortable. Mm -hmm. You feel comfortable, mister? There we go. Now I'm gonna shift him over to my shoulder where he feels comfy and I'm going to get his rear end into the baby carrier. So this is where it's important to make sure, excellent, make sure that everything's all nice and rolled out. Good. Now, unlike a newborn, Pharaoh here is able to hold on to me your newborn obviously is not going to be able to do that. However, your newborn is not going to be nearly this long. So. I know, mister, it's okay. It's okay. Pharaoh prefers more of a side hold. You'll find that you and your baby have a preference for where they would like to be installed in your, on your body on the carrier. So Pharaoh starts out in front, but then I usually find he kind of likes to sort of shift to the side. And you'll find that this carrier can incorporate that. So make sure his little legs are tucked in. Good job. Now, I used to tuck his tail in as well because that allows him to feel more secure, but your cat may not want to have his tail tucked in and that's okay. Just make sure that whatever position you choose for you and your cat, you're both very comfortable. Now that Pharaoh is well situated, 
we're just going to kind of cement his position here with our pashmina. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap. I like to tie the pashmina at my side. So we're going to wrap this around. Good job. And you see he's perfectly stable while I'm wrapping. But you may want to sit down if you're wrapping a baby or if you haven't wrapped your cat before. All right, and as we cinch it tight, good job. As we cinch it tight, Pharaoh's gonna get snuggly. And I'm going to tie a little knot in it. Great. So as you can see, Pharaoh's very comfortable. I'm comfortable. I can move around. I can bend. I can pick stuff up off the floor. The cat can jump out. We can walk around the house. He's very comfortable. See, jumping up and down. He's fine. Probably don't want to jump up and down with a newborn infant. But yeah. And that's how you wrap a cat.